black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up bro? What is good with y'all? Back with another one for you today. And on the plate, as you can see, we have some very saucy drumsticks. Not wings, they are drumsticks. But I crisp them up real nice, like how I do my wings. And if you've never seen that video, you can go into my catalog and find how I make my wings. It'll show you, and they'll be great. So we got two flavors. Uh, I got this like ch cherry sauce, but really it's sweet and sour. And then this medium sauce that I made up. And then we got some crunchy things, of course. The celery with some ranch and a serving of Honey Dijon Miss Vicky's. I will show you them mainly for the fact that they are the absolute and total truth. They are such a good chip. If you've never had them, please give them a try. Okay. Now, before we do anything more, we must <laughs> papa pork. So we are breaching huge today. We have the doctor is in, of course. Crack attack that bad boy and we pour. And during pouring ceremonies and bubbling and defizzing of the delicious liquid that this is, uh, what we do is we shout out those who have been purchasing with the coldest water because that helps me. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. You guys are the real MVPs. Um, if you feel so inclined to get yourself a snazzy water bottle that keeps your beverages cold for up to 36 hours, what you can want to do is go down to the links below in the description, use code hoodie, 10% off your entire order. You can also enter to win one of their bottles for free in the weekly giveaway that they do. And they got various sizes. 64, another one in the middle, I think. And this boy, the 21. That's what I'm about. Now that that's out of the way, let's have a sip. Aristocratically. <sighs> Liquid platinum, not even gold, platinum. Let's get into this. I want to go for the sweet one. This is leftover Chinese sweet and sour ball, chicken ball sauce. Just by the way. My sisters ordered it one night ago, two nights ago. Um, <clears throat> they apparently aren't a sweet and sour sauce savage like I am and there was lots left over so I figured I'll just put it on half of these chickens chicken drums all right next up the extra saucy medium sauce that I whip up I will teach you that in future videos. When we return back to cooking things, it's coming back soon. Stay ready. bits speaking of crunchy things now is a good time to have a celery of course so because we're all in quarantine I'm intrigued to know what shows you've been crushing because I've been crushing some shows
it goes without question, Tiger King. I think everybody is watching Tiger King. It is absolutely amazing. <laughs> As amazing as these chips. I watched it so fast, I smashed it in like one night. The memes about it are incredible. They've been making me laugh so hard. I put up a picture of my mom looking like Carol Baskin in her cheetah jacket. My mom's got style like that. She rocks things like that. Hilarious. Go ahead and follow the Instagram if you feel so inclined. Hoodie Noir, H O O D Y N O I R. It's a light little further glimpse into my life with other things that I do. I gotta say, with this pandemic, the memes in general lately have been crushing it, like so funny. So many funny sea C-vi- virus memes. And that's fine. We gotta do our best to keep the uh, the mood light during a time like this. Keep those laughs in rotation. But yeah, Tiger King. Amazing. Highly recommend. Also, the third season of Ozark could not have dropped at a better time. If you've never watched Ozark, and you're lucky enough to have to watch the whole thing from the beginning, I envy you at this time. It's so good. So if you never watched Ozarks, go check it out. It's on Netflix. I crushed the new season in two days. I spaced it out because I kind of wanted to enjoy it a little bit. I wanted to savor the flavor, make it last. So dark. So well made. I love Jason Bateman so much. He 
he kills it. They all kill it though. The acting in it is just top tier. Of course, I've been keeping up with Survivor Season 40, Winners at War. Which is all the people that have ever won Survivor over 20 years. They are all from the island trying to win two million. Very good. And another show that I found that is hilarious is the rapper Lil Dicky, his show Dave, that's his real name, Dave, in real life, it's so funny, So I would suggest hitting that up if you like um, something a little more feel good. Another really good show that I crush quick. If you're into like mystery thriller, it's The Outsider, based on like a Stephen King novel, I think. was really good but if you have any suggestions for me based on what I've talked about here you can maybe get a sense of kind of what I like please leave down below and check out what I suggested I wouldn't lead you astray. I assume most of you guys are watching these shows that I mentioned. I feel like they're all pretty popular. Maybe not Survivor. <laughs> Survivor is very specific brand of human, <laughs> but I've always been a fan. I just find the uh, social dynamics of the game so interesting and I also love how shit gets like flipped around at the last second and how there's like advantages and things can be played at the last second to like block an elimination and stuff like I just love those like surprise elements and how like what is the best strategy socially? I like the intricate like game of it of the mind.
All right, that concludes that. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.